This this one's a deep sleeper, depending okay. on where you, where you look at him. Uh, he shouldn't be because he played at Clemson. Davis Allen. Mm. Um, he I, I I love this guy. I mean, yeah. I, I was watching the tape with him, and <clears throat> I think he's got the potential to start in the NFL. He's got elite ball skills for the tight end position. Um, <clears throat> you know, he's going to attract the ball and he's going to attack it out of the air. That's something that I really like. Um, he's got, you know, good six foot five, 260. He's got, you know, like, he looks the part, right? Well, he uses that size. It's not just a novelty cam. He uses that size and boxes out defenders, which you love to see. He's got the ability to adjust and haul in passes outside of his large catch radius, which by the way is very large. Um, so that's something you love to see. Captain Cam's gonna like this. He was a senior captain, a true leader on the field. They Good. talk about, you know, you, you look it up and you know, you go through like just to see, get an, get a feel for what his teammates maybe thought of him and you know, things out there, quotes. And clearly he was just a high character guy, you know, work, you know, hard worker, all of that. Uh, so that's something there. He's a much better blocker in the run game than giving credit for. I see way too many people saying this guy is just receiving threat. He's not, you know, he can, he can work as a blocker. And I think that's the thing that might be pushing him down the board a little bit. Um, and I think NFL teams will see right through that, but you know, for analysts out there, that's probably a big issue for him. His pass protection effort is there. He's just not good enough to feel comfortable throwing him in, into those situations, but him as a run blocker, I definitely like he can be flexed out, uh, wide. He can be put in the slot. Uh, he can be used in line. You talk about him in bunches formation. I think is the best way to use him right off the rip, get him comfortable. Um, he has the ability to make plays after the catch, whether he's got the power to break tackles or, you know, he even has some ability to, you know, slip tackles and whatnot. Um, his speed testing wasn't great. Another reason why I think he'll fall down the board a little bit cam, but uh, I believe you get a faster player on tape. You know, we talked about with AT Perry. I think he ran faster than he does on tape. Well, it's the opposite here. I, I think Davis is faster on tape than he is, you know, testing wise. And that's fine. Uh, his release is really good off line scrimmage. He ran a 1.59 uh, 10 yard split. So overall, uh, you know, I think Davis Allen is a slept on tight end, uh, should be considered a day two talent without question. And while maybe he doesn't start right away because this is one of the hardest positions to start as a rookie, he 100% should start down the road if given the opportunity and the NFL level coaching. Yep. I like Davis Allen. Uh, one comp that I have for him is someone that I play with in the Buccaneers. And you just mentioned this, right? A lot of times the scouts and the people who watch the draft talk about blocking. He's not a great blocker X, Y, and Z. You mentioned though, he picked up his blocking, but can break. He reminds me of Cam Brake, the way he goes up and high points that football. I um, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's just sometimes when it comes to different tight ends, like, hey, does he want to block? Like, is he willing to block? And I do believe that for Davis Allen, he's more willing to go up and catch that football. Like you said, you'll see on the tape here when he's going out and catching the ball beyond his radius. You know, he almost looks like a tight end, a more of like a receiver that put on some weight and now is playing tight end. So, um, He's very, very effective in the past game. And Cam Brate, he's Cam Brate got paid a couple of years ago, right? And so I can see if Davis Allen falls down the draft a little bit because of his speed, then he can pick that up a little bit later. So I really like Davis Allen. Um, and I have here too, he was the defensive player of the year in, in Georgia, right? So the fact that he played defense, uh, it, it shows that he has some grit as well. That means he could play some special teams. Exactly. And go tackle some people if he needs to. So um, it's really cool to see an athlete like that. He's an overall athlete. That's what I'll say about Davis Allen there. Um, yeah. And just uh, before real quick, before you dive into yours, I just wanted to say I actually comped him to uh, Jordan Cameron, who I felt was a really good tight end that people are going to forget about as time goes on. But the guy, you know, had success in Cleveland. And if it weren't for concussions, I think we, you know, we'd still talk about him a little bit more 